Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Well, welcome back to my channel, Inside to Him. I know it's been a little bit since I've done a pattern review, but I've got a whole bunch of them that I've filmed and we'll be releasing them all over the next few weeks. This one might look familiar to you already though because it was one of the works in progress that I finished during Me Made May. The pattern is Simplicity 2250. It's a Cynthia Rowley design from the 2011 Early Spring Collection. So it's now out of print, but you can still find it on Amazon, eBay, and Etsy. The pattern comes with this dress pattern, a jacket, and a tie belt. So it's a lot of bang for your buck. The dress is a little unassuming, but there is a lot of technique packed into this one little design. First of all, there are like eight darts and maybe four pleats in the front bodice alone, plus boning. I'm not even a thousand percent sure the purpose of the boning since there are straps, but I went for it because I like to follow the instructions when I'm making a new pattern. It might have something to do with all the bias in the bodice. Do you guys know? The back bodice has an elastic casing and super cute ties. Now, if I'm going to be totally honest, the ties are pretty much impossible for you to tie on your own. To wear this dress, I have to pull on the dress, zip it halfway, turn the back to my front, tie the ties, twist it back, slip my arms through the straps, and then finish zipping. It's a process to say the least. But once it's on, it's super comfortable. The skirt is gathered and pleated in places all over as well. I told you this pattern was a powerhouse. I have no idea where I got this fabric or what it is made of, but I can tell you that it is a woven with a slightly silky hand. The stripes create a sort of texture and give it some body. It really holds the shape of the bodice as well as the skirt, which is quite a combination. All in all, I really do love this pattern. It was so much fun to make with all those details I mentioned earlier. It definitely feels fancy, even though it's more of a casual dress. I would encourage you to give it a go if you want to slow down and make something that takes time and a lot of attention to detail. I'd also like to mention that in vast contrast to the dress, the little jacket that comes with this pattern is very simple. The more I look at it, the more I think it might be a contender for my gauze shirt coat I mentioned in my plans video. So you might be seeing it made up sooner rather than later. Have you made this dress or jacket out of this pattern? If so, let me and everyone else know if you share the same sentiments as I do about these designs. That's going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all very soon. Bye.